This is what I hope will be a several part series on materials and and texturing as I go through um, trying to texture this character or the kid. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is work on first creating the materials for the head, the arms, the shirt, things like that. Um, and then I'm going to unwrap the head and then I'm gonna just going to show a little bit of uh, texture painting um, on the 3D model. What I'm doing here is selecting different parts of the model and creating the materials. Um, what I usually do for something like this is to create, is to delete all the materials first and then create um, a, a, a base material. Um, when you create a material in Blender, it's, uh, it selects everything. The first material you create selects everything. And then every uh, subsequent material I create off of that base material. See me going back to the base every time. And I'll show you why I do that here in just a moment. Um, some materials I'll use pr procedural texturing on, like these little grommets on the shoes. And um, I think I'm going to use f five or six different UV maps here. Now what I'm going to do is go back and select uh, well here in just a minute I'll select I'll go back to the base material hit select and it will tell me any polygons that I missed as long as I created all my materials off of the base. So here I go back to the base, hit select, and sure enough, I forgot to do the little 70s comb and the belt belt buckle. So that's just a helpful trick to always create it off of a, off of a base so you can keep track of uh, what still needs to be done on a, on a, a complicated model. Here I'm creating the UV uh, UV texture layers that the UV maps will be created from. Uh, selecting edges here to uh, break up the UV UV map with uh, control you can select an edge and hit control E and select mark seam so I've s selected the head UV texture layer created uh, a texture layer for the map here I'm creating an image um, these are all the things you got to do before you hit uh, unwrap. And once I hit unwrap, I get this very strange UV map with the neck being huge and the, the, the face being really small. What I'm doing here is I'm trying a new place for the seam that goes over the top of the head. And that doesn't really seem to help. Um, so, sometimes you got to do this, it's just heavy UV map editing. It's ugly, it's painful, but sometimes you got to do it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to find um, 
kind of important points on the, the map, uh, moving them, pinning them with the P key. You can select a point and hit the P key and pin a point. And then hitting the E key to unwrap again. <coughs> and I'm just doing this time and time again to try and come up with something that I like. And this is all just to maximize the amount of space the uh, face takes up in the map. Um, I didn't need the, the neck to be so prominent on the map. So it's just a lot of futzy work trying to make sure uh, also here that I don't have any overlaps. Um, you can see by the difference in the color of the map when there's an overlap. I think I go in and work on the ears here in a minute. Here we go. So now that I've pretty much got this, now I've got my edited UV map over the image I created, um, the Targa image I created. So now what I'm going to do is load that image um, onto my texture layer, switch to texture painting, and I'm going to bring up a picture here to sample colors from. Um, the picture here is um, Ian Joyner, uh, character artist extraordinary, extraordinaire from Blur Studio. But I'm sampling skin color from that image and using it to paint the 3D model. And this is just the beginning. This is just to get a base layer down on that UV map to kind of tell me where the different features are on the face. Um, and I'll be going through uh, part two to um, deal with more of the uh, texture painting. So I hope that helped.